I made a lot of mistakes in making this boat, and these extra four lines were added, and I tried to fix the problem. I also don't like the look of the zip ties, and I will fix that too. I also don't like the look of the bow. The bow is almost done. All I need just to add the seat, and I can put it into the water. I should have taken a good look at my old bow before I start this project. The termination of this triangular fold behind the fold lines created some problem, and I cannot really find out from the simple paper model, and I can only find that out with the real coral pressed. I can easily fix that by moving this point to the front of the fold line. And this is the problem I'm referring to. The outside transition is not very smooth. I decided to work on the second version of this boat immediately. I spent the weekend redesigning the boat and did many paper models. I also mounted the zip tie sideways so the top of the gunnel will be very smooth. The result is very good, but I have to test if there are sufficient zip ties to handle the force on the gunnel. I finally finished building the version 2 of the boat. The initial width of the boat is around 27 to 28 inches wide, but because the gunnel fed out, it ended up the width is at, at around 31 inches, which is a little bit wider. The total weight of the boat, excluding the seat, is 14 pounds. With version 2, I further reduced the size of the box. When compared with the box size of the ORU Lego Inlet, the ORU Lego Inlet box size is about 84% larger than my Gen 15 plus version 2 boat. With the box size like the ORU Inlet, I can pack three boats in my car and also carry two people. But with this newer form factor, I can carry four boats and also seat three people. And that is my design goal. It took me six minutes to assemble this boat. I have to improve on that and I believe I can shrink it down to less than four minutes. I'm working on the water test video and I will post that probably next week. And I will talk about a few modifications to fix a few minor problems with this design. And I plan to work on a version 3 which will reduce the box size to 3 inches thick. And after I test that then I will post more information on how to build a version 3. Please stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I have many other videos on my channel. Hope you find them interesting too. Thanks and see you again. Bye bye.